I'm Chris Gottman for AI for Good Perspectives, all year, always online. AI for Good Perspectives offers expert insights, global visions, and shared solutions for the AI for Good community. Today, I'm delighted to be joined from Moscow by Alexander Vidyakin, first Deputy Chairman of the Executive Board of Sberbank. Thanks very much, Alexander, for being with us. Thank you, Chris. Nice to see you. Nice to hear you. So tell me, what are the current or existing applications for AI for social good that you can talk about right now? Uh, so, actually, as Sberbank, uh, we have a lot of AI implemented in, uh, in the banking process. Uh, first of all, we have, st uh, we have our AI transformation. What does it mean? It means that in every process, in every client journey, we have to have an uh, AI implementation. And uh, we have started this, uh, uh, this AI transformation back in uh, 2018. Uh, so, and uh, I can say uh, that uh, we are quite successful. So, for example, this year, I mean, that's 2020, uh, sorry, we have earned uh, more than 1 billion uh, US dollars uh, additional profit based only on uh, AI transformation and um, AI ch uh, challenges uh, in the processes. So that's uh, quite uh, good for us, good for our profit and uh, good for our customers uh, because client journeys uh, of our customers uh, becoming more rapidly our costs uh, decreases uh, and uh, so uh, we can provide uh, the best uh, uh, so the best goods on the market i mean banking goods and uh, last year we became not only the bank we became so to say ecosystem we have for example um, in our ecosystem not only the bank but also for example uh, taxi services and uh, food delivery services and uh, online streaming video services and so on and everywhere we are using AI to improve uh, quality of our services and uh, to improve uh, and increase satisfactions uh, of our clients. What are the challenges with AI at the moment? <laughs> Good question. Uh, so uh, we have, for example, technical challenges uh, for AI. Uh, that's uh, for sure. Like uh, to make it, uh, uh, what have we do to improve our AI algorithms to make it more sharper for our clients and uh, more better for our clients. But I would like to talk not about these challenges. Uh, that's more or less technical and we know what to do. I would like to talk um, uh, about um, other challenges. Uh, I mean social challenges and ethical challenges because I think the uh, <clears throat> technical challenges we will uh, uh, overcome in, um, in a few years uh, and that's more or less understandable what we will do. But ethical challenges are the most difficult challenges we have in AI. It doesn't mean that we can't go through, but it means that we have to be focused uh, to uh, to talk about this and to uh, to deep dive and uh, to have uh, open discussion in the open society about what shall we do. Uh, what, what do I mean? For example, digital divide and uh, social discrimination loss of control of AI systems and possible harm to a child. That's, uh, you, you know, a lot of films uh, uh, talking about that AI could be really evil and so on. I, I really don't believe this, uh, but anyway, that's, uh, we have to decide how we will control AI. Um, uh, in comprehension of uh, AI technologies and the um, unpredictability. Uh, not enough consistency and security of AI decision support systems. Um, and uh, for sure, AI uh, could be used for bad reasons like manipulating of public opinion, uh, especially among young people. So those are the challenges uh, we have to manage it. And I think uh, on these challenges, uh, challenges uh, we have to work together. Uh, internationally, uh, between all organizations and all states, 
all governance and all big corporations like we are, for example, we have to work together to uh, go through these challenges and to decide together what shall we do. Moving on from that, please, how can we make sure this technology develops in a safe and ethical way for the benefit of all of us? So, in general, about these principles, uh, what uh, could or what shall we think about AI and uh, how we must uh, construct, uh, construct our AI mechanism, AI networks? First of all, AI should be secure. Uh, it means that uh, we should pay great attention to risks of applying AI. All the um, adjustment risk and dangers uh, should be controlled uh, as, uh, as crucial as possible. Fair AI, uh, AI should be fair, that's for sure. It means that AI technologies are applied fairly on equal terms for everyone. We work for excludes any uh, prejudice against clients of em or, or employees uh, in the work of AI system. And this is really important. Um, uh, AI uh, technology should be fair and um, it should be applied fairly and equal for everywhere. Uh, AI should be responsible. Um, it means that we have to apply AI in the interest of clients and ensuring the uh, confidentiality. AI should be explainable because now we have some algorithms that uh, provide good uh, decisions, but unfortunately we can't understand why uh, this algorithm has uh, provided exactly this uh, decision. And now we're working really hard uh, also in our uh, AI laboratory on systems and uh, data science model then uh, can provide for us uh, new methods uh, how to explain why AI has provided uh, this or that uh, decision. Uh, and. Uh, AI should be also reliable. It means that AI uh, is behaving consistently as expected. This is also really important for, for us and for everybody. Uh, so, uh, our team participates um, in the various international committees and task force on AI to promote international intensive-based regulation of ethical AI, for example, UNESCO, Council of Europe and uh, other World Economic Forum and um, everywhere we are talking not only about technical details uh, but um, uh, about uh, ethical principles of artificial intelligence. Now not all our audience will know about Sberbank so here's a chance I'm curious to know why a major bank like yours and tell us about it has become a leader in AI development. Uh, first of all, uh, we have to understand that a client uh, uh, now uh, would like to have uh, best product and services. It means uh, it should be delivered uh, online, it should be cheap or almost for free, and it should be really personalized. Uh, it means that exactly for this exactly person. And uh, imagine that we have uh, approximately 100 million of retail clients and approximately 2.5 million of uh, um, our corporate clients. And we have approximately uh, 2,000 products uh, ad addressed to uh, to retail clients and uh, approximately 500 pro pro products for uh, corporate clients. And when you uh, could combine all uh, clients with all products, uh, with uh, all channels we are providing these uh, products and services, uh, that's like a combination. Uh, you will receive approximately 10 in the power of 22. It's, 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 it's impossible to calculate or to find out the best combination uh, by any, any humankind. So it's uh, only AI can solve this problem. 
And because of this, to be the best, to provide the best product and best service exactly in real time for this exact uh, uh, clients, uh, we really do need AI. And uh, we have started as uh, almost uh, every bank uh, with uh, our retail scoring system. It means that's uh, providing uh, uh, um, loans for uh, for our retail clients. Uh, yes, as I said, we have 100 million of retail clients. Uh, um, and uh, we have started from the risk management with these decisions and afterwards uh, it's uh, increasing, increasing and uh, now um, in every uh, direction of, um, of our business, I mean in, in every department we have special uh, data, uh, chief data science officer in every department uh, providing and implementing AI and machine learning in, uh, in this exactly department. So what, what we do for sure this decision support prioritization of information flow, uh, we pay special attention how to automate uh, routine operation because we have to exclude routine operation from, uh, from, uh, um, uh, from humans. Uh, uh, our employees should think about some creative work, uh, uh, about some creative tasks, but not routine operations. So routine operations could be done by AI. Uh, so, uh, also really interesting uh, experiments we have uh, for cognitive uh, distortion prevention because as a uh, human being we have, so for example, I made this experiment for myself and I have approximately uh, uh, eight uh, this uh, cognitive distortion uh, and uh, AI and this um, uh, uh, help me uh, helps me to uh, to uh, exclude or decrease this cognitive distortion. And by the way, we uh, so altogether there are approximately 200 of this cognitive distortion. That's that's really interesting how AI could improve my uh, my management skills uh, and uh, how AI could improve my performance as as a manager. Uh, for sure, uh, we have integrated. Uh, AI uh, with electronic document flow, HR, HR platform, smart calendar, etc. Uh, we have made also auto summarization of letters, meeting minutes, uh, and uh, also <clears throat> we have made voice ready meeting transcriptions. So it means that when we have a meeting, for example, board meeting, it's recorded and in real time it's typed in the transcripts and typed uh, in, in a document as a text. So that, that's really interesting and that also that excludes uh, some mistakes uh, in, uh, in transcriptions and uh, 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 based on this we have escaped uh, some discussions what, uh, what was discussion about previously. So we have graph platforms uh, of combining knowledge graph and knowledge about the world and about the clients. Uh, so um, actually our aim is to have uh, nearly 100% of our product, uh, products AI based. And I think it's achievable and I think it's achievable uh, till the 2023. Okay, well, we'll, we'll catch up with you in 2023 then. Alexander. Thank you very much for joining us from Spurbank in Moscow, and we'll be talking to you soon. That was Mr. Vidyakin from Spurbank in Moscow. We'll have much more from AI for Good Perspectives coming up. Please continue to monitor us. Thank you for now.